The goal of the following experiment is to be able to image macromolecules in their frozen hydrated state with the transmission electron microscope. This is achieved by flash plunging the grid with the sample onto the cryogen to get a thin vitrified specimen. As a second step, the sample is exposed to the electron beam, which will form a projection image of the macromolecules. Next, the images are processed on the computer in order to obtain the 3D reconstruction of the macromolecule. The results show a highly detailed 3D structure of the macromolecule, its conformation, and the 3D location of its molecular partners. There is a main advantage of this technique over other methods of sample preparation for electron microscopy. In cryo-EM, the image is directly formed by the electrons within the macromolecule. This reflects more faithfully its near native structure. A visual demonstration of this method is critical. The cryogrid preparation and its transfer to the electron microscope are difficult to learn because of the additional complications when working at cryogenic temperatures. The warm up cycle is used at the beginning of the pumping sequence and after a cryo EM session. To begin this procedure, insert the cryo holder into one of the pumping ports of the pumping station. Start the warm up cycle option in the cold stage controller. Open the butterfly valve V2, and when the vacuum in the turbo pumping station stabilizes and reads 10 to the minus 3 torr or better, open the butterfly valve V1. Once the temperature in the holder is stable above room temperature and the warm-up cycle is complete,